Make sure it's tapped in good. Because sometimes when you're putting it in, it doesn't get all the way down in. And I'm going to show you guys something else right here. On these balers that you guys start out, like I've been sitting outside a long time, right in here, this right here where my finger is, has to be sanded. You got to sand this a little bit as well. So with a piece of emery cloth, plumber's tape, whatever you want to call it, Put this down in and you do this. You sand this all the way back to here because if you don't sand this and get this smooth where this throat is, it's just gonna cut the string until it does shine up. So this from here all the way back, all this in here has to be shined up because this is what actually pulls the knot off when the bale comes back. But this baler, as you can see, is pretty shiny. It doesn't need that done, but any balers have been setting outside or been setting a while, you got to sand that until it's super smooth. A lot of people complain, though, not stuck on a bill hook. One string's ripped. It's still stuck on, and the string is cut. That's the problem. Is that right there? It's all rusty. It's just like an old rusty, uh, like a serrated knife. Carefully pull this back down. Go back around the front. Get a better, better shot. Gonna pull some of this twine out that's stuck in there. Show them that. Show them the washers that you can get at this hardware store. Rachel's gonna show you guys the washers at the hardware store. Well, these are the blades we get. And there's the part number. Do it best has it and true value. And they don't have it labeled, but. <clears throat> Um, Rachel's going to tell you guys we've been uh, running into an issue with the blades. She just ran into it today with it. Uh, um, there's only four blades in the pack when it says there's five. It's supposed to be five. So. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I have to contact the company. So. Are there any comments or questions? Nope. Nope. Now remember guys, if you tighten these knotters in, you only need to get these lightly snug. I mean, that's it right there. You don't, if you over tighten them, you're just gonna snap that little casting off the bottom or strip the threads out. It doesn't take a lot to hold those knotters in place. So we're gonna, I'm gonna assume that we got the shimming correct. If not, because we have the stud kit, you can remove the nuts and change your shims to make your knife cut sooner or take shim out to make it cut later. So if it cuts too soon, you'll get a sloppy knot, and it looks like it didn't even try to tie it. That's because it cut it before the bill hook started to tie it. So there is a, there is a fine line here on the adjustment on that knife. So, but if you get it so it's only cutting half the string, you're eventually going to get a lot of fiber buildup in here. You don't want that. So, but so far, we've had good luck with just those M6 washers. But we're going to try to order some that are different thicknesses so you guys can really fine-tune that adjustment on that cut. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to go live later. But if you guys want that kit, Rachel's going to put it up in the comments. I don't have um, I should be able to comment right on there. How? At the bottom. Rachel's trying to figure things out, guys. <coughs> and we're going to do a, va a video here know. in a little bit of it uh, um, bailing. I don't know how to. So. Does anybody got any questions? But this is on an IH knotter. This is the update kit. It's not that complicated, guys, to put in. You see the shims of both kits. So we're going to run some hay through this, finish cleaning it up. Um, this baler is already spoken for. It's going to an international collector. Um, going to test bale with it. The best way to really test them, guys, barn hay is fine. You got to get them out in the field, and that's when you'll fine-tune adjustment. But as you can see, that stud kit versus the bolts, what an update. I wish, wish I came out with it back when I came out with these update kits three years ago. But uh, came to me, and what a difference they make. A huge difference. Because now you can change the shims without messing with that tension plate. That is an absolute bear to deal with because of the pressure I did when we made those. So um, any other questions? Um, uh, we'll, uh, Rachel will post um, our phone number up. But again, it's 607 